Hey everybody, thanks for hanging out with me today. I guess I lied about what I said earlier about only strongly disliking the first three prompts. I didn't like this one either. Frail. I mean, I'm sure I'll run into more that I don't like. And honestly, I've noticed that sometimes the prompts that I dread end up being really cool in the end. And this prompt, in particular, literally landed on me. I was going to draw some skeletons, but I didn't think I'd be able to get the effect I wanted without a lot of time spent on experimentation, and I don't have time for that right now. So, without any idea, I went to my mom, who comes up with some rad ideas about 90% of the time. She mentioned dragonflies and butterflies having frail wings, so I said, yeah, good idea, I'm gonna do it. So I try some sketches, and nothing looks how I want it to. It just isn't good. So I go back to my mom, who happens to be outside, and she's frantically calling for me to come outside because there's a couple dragonflies out there. Ha! Huh, convenient! So I go out there and get a few pictures. Some are on the steps, some are on some flowers. They're not very good pictures, though, but I am not going to push my luck. So I go to leave, and one of the dragonflies leaps off of the front steps and lands right on my arm. It's all cute, and it poses for my camera. So I take some pictures, thank it thoroughly for its time, and it leaves. What are the odds? I mean, we aren't strangers to dragonflies out where we live, but the fact that it happened to be there right when I needed it was awesome. So yeah, sometimes inspiration literally hits you. In my case, it gently landed on my arm. But I digress. No color again for this prompt. I'm enjoying just using ink, actually. I'm learning how versatile it can be. I also highly recommend taking some pictures with your phone of stuff and drawing it by eye or tracing it out because it's pretty relaxing. And yes, I said tracing. There are many useful applications for tracing and as long as you own the photo, you're 100% okay to do it. I know there's a stigma around it that you're not a real artist if you trace everything, but I mean, I will draw something in my sketchbook by hand out of my brain and then I will trace it so I can transfer it to my watercolor paper or my Copic paper. Does that honestly diminish the quality of my art? No! I take photos of objects and stuff for still lifes or of family and friends and I'll trace them from my computer or whatever to ensure that everything is correct and proportionately accurate because it matters. Uh, I might make minor adjustments on the final piece of paper after the basic tracing is done to give it some flair or maybe modify it to make it look a little bit cooler because maybe something in the background is weird or maybe their hair is covering their whole eyeball or something. I don't know. But that being said, that still does not make that art illegitimate. I took the pictures myself. That being said, do I recommend tracing everything? No, you really should stretch your creative ability to look at an object and just draw it from eye. Because the better you are at that, I mean, you could draw anything anywhere. It's really fun and that's how I prefer to do things. I don't like to trace everything. Um, tracing does save time though. Uh, and it helps the accuracy if you're in a hurry or you really need to make sure something's perfect. But definitely try not tracing things. Look at a candle if it's next to you or your bottle of water and just draw it while you're looking at it. I know it doesn't sound as much fun, but it, it can be. Just don't overthink it. Try to enjoy it. I mean, the more you do it, the better you're gonna get. I know I say that a lot, but just try it. It's it's fun. Oh my gosh, just drawing in general is fun. People are overthinking it. It's driving me crazy. <laughs> just 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 enjoy yourself. Just draw. And honestly, if you need practice, tracing over pictures of models or athletes or animals or whatever, whatever you want, the list goes on. That's a great way to practice anatomy. If you're completely new to it or you really need some work in a particular area and you just need to get the flow down. Just 
don't try to sell that art or claim that you did it from your head if you're practicing off of pictures on the internet and what have you. That's lying and stealing. And I can see where people just assume if you traced, that's what you did. But if you want to practice, then by all means do it. It is a viable way to practice 100%. There are also a lot of cases where people will send you a picture of themselves or a pet, say like a client would, and say, hey, draw this picture of me. It's my favorite. So you trace it to make sure the proportions are correct before going off on your own and stylizing it. It's really important to do that and to make sure you're accurate and the client is happy. So yeah, all in all, tracing is definitely okay. And if you personally don't like it, that's fine. That doesn't give you the right to belittle other artists. Every artist is different and their process is different. Taking pictures and tracing them and then drawing them is awesome. Taking pictures and drawing them by eye is awesome. Drawing straight from your head with references is awesome. Try them all. They each have their benefits and drawbacks. See what you like and have fun. Do not rain on anyone's parade. And remember, tracing pictures off of the internet or somebody else's photos or that kind of stuff, yes, that's stealing. That's not good. If you take your own pictures or trace the pictures you just drew onto another piece of paper, that's fine. That being said, rant over. Enjoy my little dragonfly pal. Thanks for stopping by, everybody, and putting up with another one of my rants. I do hope they help, genuinely. Hope to see you next time, and remember to stay creative. Bye!